The mechanism we have to let the operating system know that some activity or some task is important to the user, even though the user isn't interacting with it right now, is a service. And basically, a service is just a component type for Android. And as a component type, what that means is simply that it's some class we implement, and it's something we define inside of our Android manifest. And services exist specifically to tell the operating system that I'm performing some long-running operation, and I know it's not using the user interface right now, but it's still important to the user. And basically, services are, in general, considered the most important thing running on the device other than what the user is interacting with. All right? So that means that if a user kicks off some, some process that's running in a service and then uses a different activity and then uses yet another activity, those activities that they're switching away from may become candidates for termination because they're not using them anymore. But the service itself, it still remains important and still keeps running. Now, services are automatically given this high level of importance. In other words, they're automatically considered the most important thing except what the user is interacting with, but you can even elevate them further. And we'll look at that in one of the later modules where we can actually, in certain cases, elevate a service to be equivalent to the uh, activity the user is currently working with right now. And I've said this many times, and I'll say it many times again, don't confuse Android services with Windows services. Again, an Android service is a special kind of component for doing background tasks. Right? It's really that simple. Now, services fall into two categories. Uh, basically, the most common category is what's called a started service. And basically, the idea is that some component needs something done in the background. It issues a request to have that task done. A service gets started. And that service, from that point on, kind of runs on its own. It manages its own lifetime. It can decide when it exits. It can stay running for longer periods even when there's nothing to do. And it really has kind of limited interactivity with other components. It's really kind of its own independent entity they can kind of pass information back uh, with some limitations, but it's really kind of managing itself. The other kind of service is what's called a bound service, and that's kind of a client-server concept where basically a component launches a service, links up to it, and they pass a lot of information back and forth. Um, they're very interactive with the components that are using them, but they have no control of their own lifetime. They're basically started explicitly when requested and terminated explicitly when told to. By far, most services are started services. Um, they really kind of give us the most flexibility and, and solve many problems very, very well. And most of what we'll talk about in this course has to do with started services.